Yo, how's it going, everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to another Dead Frontier, everybody. So, guys, this is my second time doing making this video. The first time I made it, I was really happy about it, and guess what? There was no mic. There was no freaking mic for me. So it was just me looking like a mute. Like, my, my, I was just a mute. <laughs> so this is my second time taking this video. So, yeah. Anyway, enough about that. Today, guys, we are reviewing the Butcher Song. All right. So for the second time today, I'm going to talk about it, alright? So, first things first, this was an event item that happened throughout the Halloween event of 2023. So, so the only way to get it is basically the 2023 Halloween uh, pumpkin. So, what did you need throughout the Halloween event? Well, here we go. So, the Butcher Saw. You needed two pick skins, one Butcher Saw pole, one Butcher Saw engine, one Butcher Saw blade, and a five times Halloween candy. So obviously we know this is a craftable item that you could have gone through the event. And the crafting cost is only a mere one million Death Frontier dollars. So what do you get when you craft this weapon? So first things first, it has very fast attack speed, high critical chance. So get that critical to around 113, I believe it was last time. You would require 120 melee skill and obviously it's non-transferable. So this is where this weapon gets a little exciting, all right? So its abilities are enhanced melee damage radius and range. So this is not just a regular chainsaw from the other ones that we had in the past. This one basically has the ability to kind of cover more ground when you grind or you're getting away from a horde or whatever it is that you're doing. So that can really be helpful compared to other chainsaws. And the second best thing that I read here is the 1.2 times knockback power. So in death row, knockback is everything if your weapon doesn't have any uh like armor penetration they're just running straight through it and going after you without any any stuttering in the movement so knockback is a definite plus in the death row so i want to see how well this goes up against obviously horde and death row so you guys kind of get an idea and how well it does when you guys loot all right so we are here to pretty much test that today and see if this video can convince you to either have it or make it or i don't know so without further ado let's just go ahead and test this thing out so first things first Let's just head to a hospital, right? You guys know what it is. Let's go. Now, the reason why we always do a hospital is because, well, most guys that go to the death row aren't here for the grinding. They're here for more for the looting. So let's say this is all you had, all right? And this guy is a perfect example of armor penetration, right? So this guy, if like, for, for example, the Wraith Cannon does not have a good armor penetration. So if I were to shoot him with the Wraith Cannon, this guy would just keep running at me with no stutter in his freaking steps until I broke the armor and managed to just get into the flesh. And then that's when they'll start stuttering. Now, do I need to do that in order to make it stutter? Let's try it out. Oh, oh, okay, 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 there you go, yo, all right. So, right off the rip, that knockback ability, very nice, very, very nice. Yeah, like, they can't really finish the animation because they're too busy being, you know, knocked back. Right, here we go here we go here we go oh there you go there you go and that freaking radius and range really nice because as you all know long long arms are it's in the name they have the, the damage and radius to kind of break anything you wear in like three hits so keeping them at a long range distance with the chainsaw specifically it's a nice thing to have usually when chainsaws come out people don't really care about them because you had to get super close and in the death row, that's useless. You don't want to deal with that, especially when you're looting or grinding, because the chance of you getting hit is very, very exponential. And that just gets very freaking annoying. You don't want to deal with that. You just want to go be safe and last as long as possible until you run out of storage or, you know, you just have no other chance but just to die. You know, that's all you can do. But an interior wise, even with all this craziness going on, it holds its own really well. Look at this. Obviously, watch out for those guys throwing up. That's the one thing I would say I have an issue with this weapon. It's a chainsaw. You're gonna get freaking... You might get like puke all over you from these guys. So just watch that. When you see them make the animation, just, yeah, just walk around them. Of course, one thing you guys are gonna say is, well, you have 75%, well, close to 75% speed boost and damage boost, which, which is very, it's a fair argument, all right? Um, with this weapon, I recommend if you don't have the speed boost or the damage boost, just be very careful. You know, it's, it's not a hard weapon to use as far as I can tell. Again, yeah, I do have the boost, but if you're very careful and you pay attention to what you're doing, this weapon can pretty much save you at any moment, pretty much when you just take it out. It, it, it holds its own pro quite well. The ability of the radius and the knockback does a great job, look at that. And if you have a good, you know, a good high critical chance, you'll kill them in like a second. But of course, we're not here to just do interiors, we're also here to see how well does it do 
in a boss area or just a random horde so yeah um it does pretty well in interior so let's just get straight onto the aggro so without further ado let's get over there all right so here we are bandit territory yeah right off the yeah right off the rip here they are all right so how what does it do in an aggro filled area so as you can tell right off the rip they can't get near me man that's that's really nice and even when you, when they're about to hit the knockback ability cancels their, their head animation, so you're able to just backpedal into a safer position and just carry on the grind. So it's doing a great job at actually killing them in a very timely manner. You know, it's, it's not too slow, but it's not too quick either. Overall, I would say this weapon is very, very well balanced. It's like a good mid-tier weapon. It's not a very high, you know, uh, like a endgame type weapon like a Sand Scorcher or a Raptor. It, it's a pretty de decent mid-game, you know, chainsaw. And look, I was stuck in the middle and I was able to get out because of the knockback ability. And again, that's what you want in Death Row. You don't want to be using a weapon that doesn't penetrate, you know, the armor of these, you know, those freaking armored long arms. You want to have a weapon that if you get stuck like that, you're able to move out of the way. When I was grinding in Wasteland, every time I got sandwiched, I always pulled out a knockback weapon because that's what you want. You want to use something like pushes them out of the way and this thing just does just that so it's a very good grinding weapon watch out for those guys though like again the only problem with the with the chainsaw is you have to get close and personal so that's a that's a con i mean for a chainsaw that's always going to be a con for any melee weapon it's always going to be a con it's just it is what it is that's what it is you know but the, the knockback ability on this weapon makes up for that you know for that con it, it's just it does a great job at holding them back yeah sure it's a little difficult to contain it if you don't have the speed boost like i do but again, if you're able to, you know, manage to, you know, pay attention and see where they're coming from, you know, because aggro nowadays has been tinkered with and they no longer just spawn in front of you. They spawn, yeah, see, they spawn from the back, they get you from the center, from the right, so you got to be very aware of it, you know. So, again, one of the cons of this weapon is, well, again, you have to be close up and personal and watch out with the guys throwing up because they will, will damage you, especially because, they, you know, they aim at you, they follow you, so you want to just be careful when you're doing that. But yeah, it, crap, see, that's what I mean, see, perfect example, just don't become like me and get too cocky, you're gonna get hit, and before you know it, you're down to your last hit on the freaking armor, and then you really gotta dip because you can't open inventory while you're being, like, attacked. So yeah, guys, I, I don't know what else to talk about about this thing, uh, I like it, it's not a terrible weapon, it's pretty decent for what, for what it is, I mean, 1 million, if you manage to not buy any trick or treats and just grinded the whole thing, it's not a bad weapon for a million, really. It really holds its own pretty well. Just, again, watch the pattern and just be careful. Don't, don't get cocky like me, man. I, I be getting a little too cocky out here, man, you know? Oof. Anyway, let's just go back to a, a one one door uh, place and just barricade and call it a day. Yeah, so, meet you guys here. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, pretty much that's it. Uh, Butcher Saw, not a terrible weapon. It, it does its job. The abilities really help it out big time. That knockback ability and that radius really does a good job here in the Death Row, alright? So I'm pretty sure what, you know, these guys had in mind over there in Cricket Corpse when they were developing this thing is he needed an event item for the Death Row. Because Death Row, if you're not ready for, like, you know, like, the speed and the aggro pattern, it's going to be a hard time for you guys to loot. But, again, this pretty much makes it a little bit easier over there, over here in the Death Row. Um, it bypasses the armor of those armored long arms and it does a good job at holding it back while you honestly grind out the horde or you make an escape. It does its job. So what is Armando going to give it? Oh, we're going to give it a nice, nice and fair 7 out of 10. All right. So why a 7 out of 10? At the end of the day, it is a chainsaw. You have to get up close and personal, which is a big, big risk in the death row. As you can tell, I got hit twice. And my X Dusk Reactive is already at 101, which is no bueno here in the death row. Because once you lose your armor and you get hit twice, it's GG for you, man. Pack it up. You got to go back to a... You got a nice free ticket to the second on bunker. Now you got to walk your butt all the way back to the death row, which is a big no-no. All right? Yeah, whether this video helps you decide if you want to make it or not, or buy the trick-or-treats <laughs> now, especially because the event is over really really up to you but yeah for me if you're like level 80 or 90 and you're going to the death row you need something to kind of help you fight up fight up the horde but you saw as your man dude so yeah without further ado, without further so yeah without further ado this is Armando signing off and i'll see you guys very soon all right take it easy guys bye <laughs>